Hello everyone. Today we are going to start talk about the production process of biodiesel. How biodiesel is produced. This is the uh, points that we will be discussing in this lecture. First, let us talk about what is biodiesel. Biodiesel, bio plus diesel. It is made up of two words. Bio means the diesel that is produced from the uh, biomass or the living waste. and it is an alternative diesel fuel it is made up of renewable biological sources such as vegetable oils and animal fat so it is biodegradable and it is non toxic and has low emission profile so it is environmentally uh, safe so 100 of years ago redolf diesel he tested vegetable oils as fuel for his engine so with this advent of cheap Uh, petroleum appropriate crude oil fractions were defined to serve as a fuel and biodiesel fuel for the biodiesel engine this is how the uh, the um, uh, research start in uh, case of the biodiesel production earlier in 1930s and 40s also the vegetable oils were used as a diesel fuel from time to time but only in the emergency situation now the recently because of the increase use of the crude oil the oil prices are going high and we have the limited resources of vegetable fossil fuels so and plus the very important is the environmental concerns so taking all the three all the points in the uh, taking in the view the renewed focus renewed uh, energy source renewable energy source that is biodiesel biodiesel fuel came into existence now because of the continued use of the petroleum we have a lot of air pollution and it is causing the global warming by increasing this carbon dioxide production in the atmosphere now in this case of biodiesel biodiesel it it's it is not causing as much emission as compared to the normal diesel oil plus there is no ground mining for the biofuel so this is the brief introduction the oils fats and oils they are primary water insoluble hydrophobic substances in plant and animal kingdom so they are made up of one mole of glycerol and three moles of fatty acids so that is why they are used in called as triglycerides so the fatty acids they vary in the uh, they vary in the chain as compared because it depends on the number of carbons in the chain so these fatty acids are actually present in the vegetable oils that is why vegetable oils they are used for the biodiesel production now uh, what is the method uh, of biodiesel production let us talk about the method of biodiesel production so the first is the vegetable oil as uh, adaptation adapting bio uh, vegetable oil as a compression second ignition engines fuse can be uh, done by the four methods of pyrolysis next is the micro emulsification then dilution and at last cross esterification esterification let us talk about one by one first is the pyrolysis this pyrolysis is actually a chemical process in which we apply the thermal energy we heat the biomass in the absence of air or nitrogen because of this when the bio biomass is burned the liquid fractions of the thermally decomposed vegetable oils they likely to approach in the form of biodiesel fuel now this pyrolysis it it is having a low viscosity flash point is also low it is a uh, it it is not actually adequate for the diesel production its calorific value is not up to the mark so now this pyrolysis pyrolysis it, it needs to be worked out now the vegetable oil uh, the pyrolyzed vegetable oil contains acceptable amount of sulfur water sediments and some corrosion values are there in the vegetable oils now next step is the micro emulsification micro emulsion the formation of micro emulsion is one of the potential solutions of solving the a vegetable oil viscosity now we have to improve the vegetable oil viscosity we will make uh, the micro emulsion are made 
Now these micro inversions they are defined as transparent, thermodynamically thermodynamically stable, colloidal dispersion. Now the small droplets they are diameters of about 100 to 1000 angstrom. These micro immersion they can be made up of vegetable oils with an ester and the dispersing dispersing or it also contains vegetable oils and alcohol it, and a surfactant and the octane number that is is improved after the micro immersion is done so all the micro immersions with butanol hexanol octanol they make the met the maximum viscosity requirement for the diesel fuel so in order to have a proper diesel fuel the and uh, we have to uh, the octane number should be improved which is done by the micro immersion next is the dilution now the dilution of vegetable oil can be done with the materials such as diesel fuel solvents or ethanol now that this dilution actually result in the reduction in the viscosity and the density of the vegetable oils now for this the 4% ethanol to biodiesel diesel fuel makes uh, the dilution is used for the dilution purpose it increases the brake thermal efficiency it improves the brake torque brake power and also increase the decrease the brake specific fuel consumption now because of the boiling why ethanol is used because the boiling point of the ethanol is less that is why ethanol is considered as best for dilution the diluting the vegetable oil now very important step is the trans esterification reaction see the biodiesel is it is obtained from the vegetable oils and animal fats both the vegetable oils and animal fats contain fatty acids long chain fatty acids these fatty acid needs to be esterified and you know that fatty acids uh, can be esterified with the help of trans esterification reaction since fatty acids they are not soluble in water that is why they are reacted with esters and this reaction is called trans esterification reaction it is the method of biodiesel production from oil or the fats now it is carried out in two ways number one by catalytical trans esterification and second is the supercritical methanol trans esterification let us talk about both the way first catalytic trans esterification as the name indicate catalytic it means there will be one catalyst will be added so that the reaction can take place now the catalytic catalytic trans esterification process is is in which the reaction of triglycerides with alcohol is done in the presence of some catalyst to form the esters and glycerol now the triacyl as, uh, as glycerol dehyde has a glycerin molecule as its base with three long fatty acid attached to it so the characteristics of the oil or the fat can be determined by the nature of fatty acids that are attached to the glycerin molecule so the glycerin is forming the base and it will be attached with the fatty acid chain so the nature of the fatty acid chain will decide whether that oil is fit for the diesel production or not so that will determine actually the characteristics of the diesel so you can see very well in this reaction this is a triglyceride molecule so this is glycerin which is forming the base and this is the fatty acid chain that is attached to the glycerol molecule now this triglyceride is reacted with alcohol in the presence of some catalyst and when this reaction takes place it will form acyl uh, uh, ester or the biodiesel and ethanol is removed so a successful trans esterification is signified by the separation of esters and glycerol layer after the reaction the heavier co product that is glycerol it settled down and it may be sold out and it may be purified for the use in industry so the by product that is glycerol along with the biodiesel is also this by product is also commercially very important since glycerol density is very high so after the trans esterification this glycerol will be settled down and the biodiesel will be 
floating over it. So this biodiesel is extracted and the ethanol is further processed and it can be used in the pharmaceutical or in the cosmetic industry. Next is the supercritical transesterification. Since this uh, simple transesterification have some uh, drawbacks or the limitations are there. So nowadays a technique is going to the supercritical transesterification. Because of the simple transesterification process, the process is this process, the older process that is that we have just discussed, that is the simple transesterification, it is a time consuming reaction. Then it needs a catalyst. So, so for, for the reaction to take place and saponified impurities from the biodiesel need to be separated. So, these are the some limitation of the simple transesterification reaction. So, the first problem that is the phase separation that is separating the vegetable oils, alcohol mixture with the dead with the rigorous steering. So, rigorous steering is required. Steering means uh, continuous steering is required. These problems are not faced in the supercritical method of rust sterification. How? This is due to the fact that tendency of two phase formation of vegetable oil alcohol mixture is not encountered and then a single phase is formed due to the decrease in the dielectric constant of the alcohol in the supercritical state. Because of the supercritical transesterification, the two phases are not formed as compared to the simple transesterification reaction. So here there is no phase separation. Phase separation need not to be done. Then it, it is not taking time. It is uh, done in the about 2 to 4 minutes. Further there is no catalyst is required. So when the catalyst is not there in the reaction, so one step of purification of the biodiesel is also reduced. So when we go for the uh, by uh, pu purifying any diesel so it will be uh, a trouble it will be a, an, an additional step for purifying is the additional step so that is why the supercritical transesterification is considered more advanced now after the transesterification is done the biodiesel is separated by the catalytic transesterification method so the refined corn oil palm oil waste cooking, cotton seed oil, rice bran oil, they are esterified by the transesterification method. The transesterification is otherwise also called as alkylysis. It is a reaction of fat or oil with the alcohol which will yield esters and glycerin which we have just seen in the reaction. Transesterification of selected oils are carried out by heating the oil. In the process, alcohol combines with the clay triglyceride molecule from acid to form the glycerol and ester which we have just seen in the reaction. So the glycerol is removed by the density separation. As I already discussed, glycerol is highly viscous. So because of its density, the two phases can be easily separated. Now because the catalyst is used in the reaction, this catalyst is sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide and in a complete absence of water it is carried out. So, the transesterification decreases the viscosity of the oil, making the fuel, making it a good fuel characteristic. So, the catalyst is used to improve the, actually the yield quality of the oil. Now, the transesterification of tri triglyceride using alcohol is done. Now, this is the schematic presentation which we have just dis discussed all the points. You can uh, get a crude idea from this schematic part. So initially we take the vegetable oil or the animal fat or any waste then it goes to the transesterification reaction. Because of the transesterification reaction crude biodiesel is obtained and glycerin is obtained. Crude glycerin is obtained. These are the two phases which we were discussing about. So this crude glycerin is again refined. It is purified and the pure glycerin is recovered which can be used in the cosmetic or in any other industry. Now this glycerin can be used for the methanol. From this glycerin methanol is also extracted. Methanol is a catalyst which we have used in the uh, sorry alcohol which we have used in the reaction. Then methanol added with the catalyst is again going can be again used for the transesterification reaction. 
Now this crude diesel is a refined. It has to refine through many steps, and then pure bio diesel is okay. So this was the uh, we have discussed up till this point. We'll talk about the refining process now. So let us talk about the uh, product, uh, cleaning, the post production process. So after the bio diesel is produced, it need to be clean. It needs to be refined. So uh, what are the impurities that are present in the uh, uh, bio diesel, crude bio diesel? Is the catalyst and alcohol content that is present. That will be some amount of alcohol will be recovered in the bio diesel. So the esters that are recovered from the reaction, it should be, it should meet the ASTM standards. It is the American standard of biodiesel. So it includes biodiesel to be separated from glycerol. Ether washing is done. Ether sorry, ester washing is done. Ester drying is done, and other uh, ester treatments. And additional ad, uh, addition of biodiesel with some other compounds is done. Now the biodiesel and glycerol separation. So it is all already. This is the first step when the biodiesel is separated. Uh, this is the first separate uh, sub first step process step of the um, purification where the biodiesel is uh, collected separately with the glycerol is uh, recovered. So we have already discussed that glycerol is. Density, its density is high. So, on the basis of density, when the two phases are produced, because of the high density of the glycerol, it will settle down, and the biodiesel can be collected from the top. Now, this biodiesel washing is done many times. This is done to neutralize any catalyst that is residue of any catalyst that is present in the biodiesel. Now. To remove any soap material that is formed during the esterification reaction, it is done to remove residual free glycerol and methanol. There should be no residues of glycerol and methanol is there. Now the ester is dried to require the meet stringent limits or the amount or the amounts of water present in the final biodiesel product. So if ester much should, should be dried. So that there is no content of water is there in the oil, in or in the fuel. So in addition to this, there are other treatments are done to reduce the color bodies in the fuel. Means the fuel color should be improved, remove any sulfur and the phosphorus material that is present in the fuel, and to remove the glycerols. At the last, addition addition is there. Addition of the material is there so that. The fuel fu should function properly. This includes the to, uh, cloud point of the uh, biodiesel is improved. Some antioxidants are added. Some additives are added. Some stabilizing agents are added in the biodiesel. Now, fatty acids. Fatty acid alcohol ester has a density of about 0.0 gg, 0.88 gm, while the glycerol has a density of 1.05. So the glycerol density it depends on the amount of methanol, water, and catalyst present in the glycerol. This density difference is sufficient to use the specific gravity uh, separation technique of the two phases. So the glycerol and the uh, biodiesel they are separated on the basis of their density gravitation method. Now there are three category of the equipment that are utilized in this process. Decanter system, centrifuge system, or hydrocyclone, they are used to separate the ester and the glycerol phases. So, at last, we can conclude that there are several methods that are available for producing the biodiesel. The transesterification of natural oils and the fat is the currently used method and it is the best choice. Now, the purpose of the process is to lower the viscosity of the oil or the fat. Although the blending of the oil or the other solvents and microemulsions of the vegetable oils lowers the viscosity, engine performance problems such as carbon deposits and lubric lubricating oil contamination is still there exist in the process. Now that this pyrolysis produce more biogas uh, gasoline as compared to the uh, other fuels. So this was all about the biodiesel production process. Thank you.